glory, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh glory, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh glory, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, glory, hallelujah. That's a song from my spirit. I heard somebody said that when the scripture says, sing unto the Lord a new song, it means sing a song from your spirit. Not necessarily a song that somebody made. And it's the new and trending song in the, in the gospel music industry. But when it says, sing unto the Lord a new song, it means sing, sing a song from your spirit make up your own song it's a new it's a new song because you made it up so um and if you're led to you can like put it out there <laughs> but that's a song from my spirit i got this song like a week ago yeah a week ago no sometimes you know you should just allow your spirit to sing there are melodies in your spirit sing unto the lord a new song and allow your spirit to sing spend time in the presence of god and allow your spirit to sing um this video is really spontaneous i was just <laughs> singing this song it's like um let me see if i could like make a little vloggy kind of thing but just talk to you guys um, i got up a couple hours ago but i'm you know just doing some chores around the house um as you can see i'm still in my bed clothes <laughs> but this is really spontaneous um very authentic um but i want to show you guys something i have been reading books a lot of books and i got a i got a diff i got a new book this morning it came in the mail and i'm so excited it's this book well it back and front but it's this book is called her true worth and if you're a female a christian young lady you supposed to you're supposed you're supposed to know her true worth on instagram um, it's a page that a lot of Christian young ladies follow. So they made a book. Like the Instagram, their Instagram handle is her true worth, and they wrote a book. I think it was last year they they released the book. I was like, I have to get this book, and I finally got it. Um, so I'm excited to read it. Actually, how did I make the start start this video? I was I was listening to my Bible. I was playing the audio Bible. Oh God! I, oh yes, I knew I started this video for a reason. <laughs> I knew I started this video for a reason. I just remember. Thank you, Lord. I was just doing my devotion. I was just like um talking to. Well, I did my devotion already, but I was just listening to the audio Bible. The angle is not even like straight, but I was listening to the audio Bible and it was playing Amos chapter nine, and. I heard a part, Amos chapter 9, verse 11 to, I think, 15. And he was talking about God restoring Israel. And it's a scripture that's talking about um, Amos chapter 9. Give me a second. I found it. Amos chapter 9. I'm going to read it for you. I'm going somewhere. Hear me out. Amos chapter 9, verse 11 to 15. The restoration of... Yeah, this is the modern english version bible but it says on that day will i raise up the hut of david that is fallen it's talking about the children of israel i will close up the breached walls raise up its ruins and rebuild it as in the days of old that they may possess the remnant of edom and of all the nations called by my name says the lord will do this Indeed, this is a part. Indeed, the days are coming, says the Lord, when the plowman will overtake, hear me out, will overtake the one who is reaping. And the treader of grapes, the one who is sowing the seed. The mountains will drip sweet wine and the hills will flow with it. I will restore the fortunes of my people, Israel. Hear me out. They will rebuild the ruined cities and in inhabit them. They will plant vineyards and drink their wine. They will make gardens and eat their fruit. I will plant them upon their land and no more will they be uprooted out of their land, which I have given them. The Lord your God has spoken. This scripture really ministered to me this morning. Well, it just really hit me this morning. Well, not this morning, a while ago when I was listening to it. 
it really hit me because I think it was Thursday gone. Thursday, I was here in my room and I was talking to the Lord. Just talking to him casually. And he spoke a prophetic word into my life. He spoke a word to me. He gave me a word. And the word is this. It's This is my word, but... One of the things that I've learned is that when somebody gets a prophetic word, you can grab a hold of it too. Yeah. But he he spoke this word to me. He said, I like I just started to see, I saw a vision of like a whirlwind. And I saw where a whirlwind was coming. And it took me up, took me from the back and placed me at the front. So I started to pray um along the line of what I was seeing. Because you know, sometimes the Lord gives you a vision, and it's very important that you pray along with what you saw so that's you praying the will of god you know so if god show you that you're gonna get a million dollars pray the will of god pray it into into fruition pray it into being if the lord gives you a prophetic word you know about yourself about somebody pray it into being as long as it's like you know a good word i guess but you know just pray that word into fruition so i started to pray and i said the word of the lord is about to take me up and take me from the back and put me in the front you know and it has to do with speed and God restoring the years and the things that I lost and so on. And I got that word and I was watching this um this summit, Women of Faith Summit. And I think one of the speakers, Pastor Kenyatta, he he spoke something along that line. So it was confirmation for me. May not even wash my face from morning. But yes, um <laughs> so that's the word of the Lord. The Lord is going to restore all that you have lost and he's about to take you from the back and put you to the front the world made a whirlwind of the lord take you up from the back and put you in the front you're about to reap the, the word of god last night at the summit was um you're going to reap in places you did not so listen this is my season it's a new season if you haven't felt it i don't know where you are but it's a new season it's a new season like don't you feel it? Don't you feel it? It's a new season. Big things are in store. So, my God. <laughs> it's a new season. Anyways, I want to promote this book. Um, This book was written by my church sister, Sister Opal. She goes to my church. She wrote this book and released this book, I think, last year. And I read it about two weeks ago. Really powerful testimony. So... It's available on Amazon. I'm going to put the link in my description. So go ahead and get this book and read it. I've been reading a whole bunch of books. Um, if you if you follow me on Instagram, you'll see where like I do like book reviews or whatever. But yeah, that's all I wanted to share with you guys. Um, stay in position. Get ready. The Lord is about to move. The Lord is about to move. I don't know about you, but I know about me. You know, He's about to move, and He's already moving. And I'm just so excited. I'm so excited about my future. I'm excited about the future of the church and what's going on in the body of Christ. As much as though there are a lot of bad things going on. Listen, just as though the kingdom of darkness is progressing, the kingdom of God is progressing even more. We are on the winning side and we are leading the game. We're not even. It's not even like, like a competition at this point. The battle is already won. The battle is already won. And guys, it has been on my heart to really like talk more about salvation on my youtube channel you know i just like come on here and just show you guys my life but if you're watching my videos and you're not saved you don't have the holy ghost you're not living for jesus you need to give your life to the lord you it's about time bro it's about time you give your life to the lord you know so i'm gonna go into that go into more details about salvation and really just talk about it you know because this is a, a a platform for me to like spread the gospel and yeah talk about jesus so that's really what all i wanted to share there's so many things i'm learning so many things i want to share where i'm just like just waiting on you know the prompting of the holy spirit but there's so many things that i'm learning i will share them with you one day uh. <laughs> I'm just so excited i'm so excited for what the lord is doing and what he's going to do <laughs> i'm trying to find the thumbnail picture <laughs> um this is the real me me not washed my face from morning or anything i just got up clean up my area and doing some chores out there 
then I'm gonna like you know do some other stuff and stuff <laughs> so may the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all may you continue to dwell in the secret place of the Most High God that is where you need to be stay there stay in the spirit stay connected to God hallelujah thank you Jesus stay in the spirit stay connected to God stay in the will of God so these are my few words in Jesus name God bless you <laughs>